Behind me right here, guys, is our Peterbilt cab over project that is 99% done. We're about to pull it outside at later in this video. We've got tons of stuff that we got done on it. You're about to see all that, but I wanted to have a quick come to Jesus moment with a lot of my viewers. So make sure you pay attention, guys. So in the move up here to Tennessee, we still have lots of big dreams and goals to accomplish. Um, businesses we're starting, myself with Robert, um, the Fitzgerald Collision crew over there in Rickman, you know, just being involved in a little bit of everything up here. And on top of that, continuing to do YouTube videos and starting the salvage business, which, you know, creating another stream of income for myself and my family that doesn't involve making <laughs> videos for the internet because it takes a lot of time and effort away from your family. And that's where this uh, topic has risen from is like time away from my family. And a lot of you have mentioned that my videos aren't what they used to be. Well, I mean, a lot of it has changed or my mind is a lot of other places with my wife and my kids, Amber, Amelia, and Gunnar. You know, it's like, I don't even know how to describe it. Recently, literally yesterday, guys, we had a medical scare with my son Gunner that was literally none of our fault just something that happens when you're a little kid I'm not gonna get into detail because it was extremely traumatizing for myself my wife and even my father who was up here he's okay just normal kid dude's doing great but just I'm just not gonna get into detail but this this happening made me realize the importance of taking time away from work and taking your mind away from work putting your phone down and just spending time with your kids and your wife, your family, wife, whatever you have, your significant other, your kids, even your parents, you know, my dad, stuff like that. And it just makes me think like, is everything I'm doing all the time and energy, I'm like killing myself to do all these different things really worth the time away from my family. And it's like the hardest thing in the world to balance between taking care of your family, spending time with them, you know, creating generational wealth, things for the future for your kids and their kids. It's just a huge balance on, on I'd say most of the, on the shoulder of someone that supports the entire family. So that may be why my videos have changed. You know, I, I look at myself and I'm like, why do everybody think I'm changed my videos? I don't feel like I've changed much, but as far as, you know, viewers have been here for seven or eight years, they see a change. And I guess when you're watching for that long, you can see different things happening that maybe I just don't notice because of, I may be unaware. But with that being said, guys, cherish every single moment you have with your wife, kids, significant other, your parents, your family, and just reevaluate the time you have doing things like working when you could be at home with your family. I understand we all need to make a living, make money to pay those bills, but at the same time, maybe knocking off an extra hour early or when it can be made happen and spend that time with your kids, putting your phone down, not being on your phone around your family and just spending time with them. And that is the hardest thing to do for myself and other creators because our life revolves around making content and being on our phone all the time. And it is so hard to put your phone down between like replying to comments and, and getting back to everyone that reaches out to myself and the crew. So, <laughs> you know, we're making more money and doing different things, buying all these cool toys and projects, but I'm starting to realize the most valuable thing, more valuable than money is your time. The more money you make takes time, but sometimes the more money you make gives you the ability to buy your time back. So enough talking, a little bit of a moment there. Like I said, guys, we went through some stuff over the past couple of days that just made me reevaluate everything I've been doing. Going to continue as usual, but just going to start really maintaining my time a little bit, bit better. So let's jump into the video, guys. Our Peterbilt cab over is 99% ready to rock. Guys, we're back out here with Hank the cab over. Had a friend of mine from Bulls Welding here in town come out and he got all the holes in the frame welded up back here at the back of the truck. Got our frame looking right from where we got it all cut up last time and he went ahead and finished the job. So we've got to get some work done today. We're going to be grinding the frame down, painting it, getting a few things fitted right and who knows what else we'll get into. But we are going to be cranking this thing out. Our friend Brian Martin from Four State Trucks will be here on Tuesday to come hang out and check the truck out and see our shop. So we better get some stuff done before he shows up, the boss man. We don't want to make him mad. So, Ryan, roll the footage from Bowles Welding, making this thing look right.
Mr. Bowles did a solid job getting all these holes done. I'm going to take and hit the frame with a uh, wire wheel here, and we're going to get the rest of this loose paint knocked loose, and uh, like around these bolts and stuff, and then we are going to paint this frame and get it all looking fresh, get our fuel tanks mounted up. Probably should get our tanks mounted before we start painting stuff. And then uh, get some tanks on it today, hopefully, is the goal, and get that rear end all buttoned All up. right, folks, so up next, we've got our frame kind of prep for paint. We're going to get some fuel tanks mounted. So before we paint anything, we need to get these mounts mounted on the frame so we can paint it all together. We've got our tanks back from Mirror Polish. Our buddy Chris has got them in the first stage of polishing, and then once we get them on the truck, we'll call them back out. He'll come do the final stage of polishing. So we need to measure where we're going to put our mounts at, right? So... We know they've got to come in a little over eight inches on each side. So our window is going to be roughly 14 inches. Okay. All right. This is a lot of mumbo jumbo. I'm going to figure it out. I'm, in a couple seconds, we'll have some spots mounted. We'll be drilling holes in the frame. So, guys, we've already got holes right here in the frame, and we can't put these mounts no further forward. So we're going to use this as my starting point here. And we'll get it tightened up and uh, mark some holes off, I think is what we're going to do. Let's do it. There you have it, guys. I've got our fuel tank straps right where I want them. The fuel tank's going to come up just underneath the cab here a little bit, and it's going to leave us with some frame space to have some frame looking good, because we want some frame. Stretch cab, we're going to have some frame showing. So. Time to remove these things. We've got our frame drill already set out and start drilling some new holes <laughs> and get these things bolted up. Yeah, that looks close enough. Guys, once again, I'm going to give a shout out to Evolution, and we got this drill from uh, JB Tools. We've drilled probably, I don't know, over 200 holes with that bit, and it's still cutting great. So there you have it. Got all of our holes drilled. We're going to get this mess cleaned up, brake clean it so that we can get the mounts mounted up on here, and then uh, probably should go and get both sides done. And they'll do one step at a time. I just get so excited. I want to go ahead and paint and make it look good and look cool. But let's get this uh, all cleaned up with some brake clean and uh, get these fuel tank mounts on there. Guys, we skipped ahead a little bit. We've got our frame primered. So keep in mind, we're not trying to make a show truck, just trying to make a really cool classic truck. If we make one thing really nice, it's going to make the rest of it not make sense. So. Fuel tanks are mounted. We've got our primer on there. We're gonna let that stuff dry. Um, it actually doesn't look bad with all the holes gone and they're only being the bolt holes that are needed for our cross members. I think it looks pretty solid. Once we get these tanks on here, it's gonna look really, really good. Moving back here to the back. Uh, before we get to this, thank Four State Trucks for sponsoring the build series on Hang. They've been a long time sponsor and supporter of the Bruce Wilson YouTube channel. They have got us set up with all the parts on this truck to make this thing really special for a special occasion coming in the next couple weeks. But check them out, fourstatetrucks.com, link in the description below. Like I said, that guys, without them, this build wouldn't be happening with all these really cool parts. We've got like this Merit deck plate and all kinds of other cool stuff. So back here on the back, Mr. Bowles got our rear piece fitting on here, right? Um, and, you know, from when we got it, it was just a straight down cut, and this is how it's supposed to be right here. So we've got this all done. You know, I was thinking someone, one day, maybe us or someone else, may want to mount a hitch on the back here. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and grind this. Instead of bolting it up, we're gonna weld this thing on here, and it's gonna be on here permanently. So, with that being said, we're gonna get it prepped, ground down, get it ready to go, and I'm gonna throw some welds on it and uh, make it be on here permanently. I 
I think I found our solution to the back of the frame because I rethinking it was like maybe we shouldn't weld it is we found this thing <laughs> on the back of a freight liner we have outside where we tear it apart for parts and who knows we might want to haul a boat to the boat ramp one day with this thing somebody might and I thought it'd be really cool with a pinhole hitch on the back so everything is here we just need to unbolt it cut these hucks off right here for the airbags and take it apart and then we can mount it right there in the back of the frame it's got supports right here for the Mud flaps. I think this is the ticket. What do you think? The only thing, unless it goes at the bottom, is the tail lights. Yeah. yeah, they mount on the bottom. So, well, let's get this thing unbolted and get it out of here. Maybe. Oh. It's a little heavy. There it is. There's our new rear frame extension. I think I think it's uh, got good bones. Well, we'll drag it over there, slide up inside our frame back there, and see how it looks. We might, you know, we have that center panel, chrome center panel, but I think that right there just honestly looks a lot cleaner. It's like all made on there. We got enough wiring right here left over that I can wire it all up. And we can save that center panel for another project. Mm. Ryan, you going to pick it up and carry it over there? <laughs> All right. Guys, we've been going ham, getting a ton of stuff done to this truck, and I've just been in get it done mode. But I had Lake tackle this window. It was stuck down while well, it was getting caught on the door latch here, right? That, that doohickey right there. So. But when we took the window cover off, we found this really cool chain-driven window actuator. So it is still crank, and it's still not the easiest thing to move. But I thought that was really cool, having a window crank that has chain drive in there. But let's show you guys everything we've gotten done so far. Fuel tanks are mounted. we got to get our boy Chris over here to finish polishing some stuff. I've got to get some covers for these top covers. Uh, holes here and we've got to get a fuel sending unit going here but i've got all the fuel suction lines installed right here to this t underneath there so we've got drain valve or fuel valves underneath there we got a deck plate bolted down solid we're going to add another one right here once we hook up our return hoses right here that go to our fuel tanks obviously moving on frame painted i think it looks really good we use some implement stuff I'll, want to show you guys, oh, excuse me. We've been brushing it on farm and implement paint. Just brush it on, I mean, it looks brand new. And then you can get some spray paint to fill in the spaces you may or may not have missed. Got our mud flaps mounted. You know the deal, the Chrome Shop Mafia specials back here with some weighted mud flaps. Those are looking good. Spring mount, they are United, Pac Sp United Pacific. Right here is the box they came in, so you can check that out. So, United United Pacific spring or air, mud flap mounts there. Everything's painted up, looking good back here with our pinnel hitch mount. Got our new leveling valve mounted. We still got to set the exact uh, ride height. I need to do some research on that. So, it's there. Got to wire up our rear tail lights. This thing's coming together. Both fuel tanks on it. It looks great. I kind of pushed this video out. We were going to get it up with some more stuff, but I figured we get a lot done because tomorrow in this same video, Brian, the boss man, Martin from Four State Trucks will be in town. He's toured semi-casual shop and checked out some other Fitzgerald locations, and he's coming here to spend the day with us. He's going to put his Vendetta fenders that he makes there at their shop. We're going to mount those up together, install them on here, put some train horns on it that we've got. You guys have seen in one of the other videos, mount our airlines and stuff up here on the deck plate and that's pretty much going to wrap up the build but tune in stay on the video don't go anywhere brian will be here in just a second there you have it guys mr brian the boss man martin is here <laughs> who would have thought that the the boss man would be on at our shop on one of our youtube videos sometimes all, sometimes all the way from things trick, just kind of work out you all know? the way from trick my truck <laughs> this is crazy i love it so brian is here i've got to finish loading out a customer here it's picking up a hood from us and he said Get out of the way. I'm going to show these guys how to install our Vendetta fender kit, right? So I guess I'm going to finish loading this customer up. And then, uh, Lake, I'm going to give you my handyman. 
You go do what you got to do. We'll get all this laid out and we'll figure out our plan of attack. So on top of getting a cab over right, <laughs> okay, I better be careful here. <laughs> on top of this cab over being built here in the shop, it's going to have some parts on it and being built by the, nothing but the boss man here. So Every good truck's got to have some Chrome Shop Mafia parts on 100%. it. 100%. Did you see the mud flaps? <laughs> I did. I did. So yeah. the guys haven't seen it since yeah. last night. We got the deck plate all installed uh -huh. and then mud flaps on the back. Did we show? I think yeah, we, we did. did. We did. Yeah. Okay. We but here. Chrome Shop Mafia mud man, flaps. Man, this is a clean machine. This piece of retro iron is cool. Yeah, I think like, it's really cool. This is a cool. trucker's truck. <laughs> it is. And we're, we're doing just enough, but we're not overdoing it, yeah. I feel like. So. Yeah. Keep it vintage. Some nice touches. All right. Well, I'm going to go load this customer out. Uh, you guys and Brian and Laker and get to put some fenders on. Okay. Usually we can get lucky and catch one. Probably, probably that one right there. That's probably what we'll do right there. Doesn't work. Yeah, we're gonna have to heat that one. But we're calling in the big guns now. <laughs> Captain Heat. Go ahead and pick that one up, put it back on the deck. <laughs> Steam bath. So, put these vendetta brackets on there. And I thought I saw, was there just an alignment sham in that there's, side? No, there's okay. one in there. Yeah, it's just, we gotta tap it back up in there. Yeah. That one was already hanging. Gotcha. The cool thing about the Vendetta brackets, they're already bent. You don't have to weld them and they're already powder coated. Before they came out, you had to tack weld everything, take it off the truck, final weld it, spray paint it, <laughs> then come back to the trucks. So these are save a lot of time. You got her. All right, now let's set our fenders up here and we'll see where we're gonna need to position that rear bracket. It's gonna give us a visual idea. Just set yours right in front of that bracket we just put on. And then bring it back as far as you need. Okay. All right, go ahead and let, just let it sit down. And then stand back, is that straight? Like, do I need to come up or something? Yeah, come up. Keep it going. Okay, somewhere in there. It's a bit low. Because it'll be a little bit exposed, but we can roll it forward and it will work. Let's go for that one. All right. Okay, let's set the fender back up there. Okay. talking about the forward to backward part yeah like it's i guess when it's when it's inflated it's going to be about the same so we'll be yeah. good when it's inflated this and this will be a lot closer than it is now and this truck probably doesn't even have a dump valve so it'll never get parked this way Ooh, that was loud We have it any more like four by fours or something? Okay. What about that? I could live with it. Now how is it for the back needs to come up, Bruce just like oh man, you're almost there. Like you're almost there. Unless we tighten all this up and it picks it up. Yeah. 
we can yep. flush with the backpack there. Would be yeah. Nice. That should keep it off the tires because it's fully deflated now. Okay, I think if we uh, get our holes marked, we got a sharpie. Yeah, a sharp sharpie. Uh, a usable sharpie. That's not a sharp one though. Yeah, I think so. Got to cheat it forward just right to get this out of sight. This barely. Can you push it forward anymore? Or is that it? Okay. I think that's about as far as it's going to go. And try pulling it back to get some more height. We may just have to pick the front up some more to get this to touch the land. Yeah. Or put a rubber mud flap in there or something. Yeah, we do, we do have. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea anyway. Yeah, actually, we do have yeah. one. Plus, Ryan tossed them already. Yeah. You hold it, and I'll mark it. All right. You like what? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I can't even see. Here we go. We can just set it on there. Yeah. You want to set it on that other, those other tandems over there, and we can drill it. We can I'm, do that. And pull it, pull this off, so we can mark the. We got hole. another one in the oh, other kit. Right. We'll just set it up on there. Let's go get some dull drill bits. <laughs> That was fairly impressive. Nice and slow. It does it every time on stainless. Literally. You nice only get to do slow. it once. Yeah. Well, guys, we got the front of the fenders marked. I've misplaced the hardware, so we've got to run to Ace. Boss man here has got to hit the road. we got to have a little bit of a lunch meeting first. but. Uh, yeah. Thanks We're like two-thirds done. Thanks for with coming With one out. side. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we've got it down pat. We have a system where we usually get one thing done on camera and we knock the other out off camera because it, sometimes it's time-consuming shooting videos. You should know. Oh, man. Yeah. Tell so me about it. Getting things done and trying to film at the same time. When you're filming it, it takes four times longer than usual. <laughs> yeah. So these Vendetta fenders are available at fourstatetrucks.com, guys. Check them out. We've got a new T-shirt not yet available on the website. Be looking for it in the next couple of weeks. Did you... you We've got the four hey, state. Hey, the old cab over. The four state tattoo on the front of the cab over there. I'm digging it. I am digging so, it. Nicely looking, done. Looking pretty sweet. Resembles our truck for Save the Classics here. Stay tuned. We're going to get some lunch. We'll be right back. We'll be getting this fender bolted down. Guys, we got the fenders completely mounted up the other day. They turned out freaking awesome. I'm going to give you some highlights and show you what I really like about these Vendetta fenders from four state trucks. So key things like Brian mentioned was these brackets bolt on to your factory suspension bolts there and they are a hidden mount bracket. Keeps everything hidden back there. The Merit rear fender mount that Brian sells there also is really sick. You just find a bolt hole you're not using somewhere and you just put it right there on anything soon. Really no drilling required. And the only drilling in this whole fender kit was literally putting holes in the fender for the mounting brackets. So brackets front and rear, bolt right up, go on there. Really, really easy. Fenders turned out awesome, guys. Like I said before many times in the video, Four State Trucks is where these fenders came from. Go grab you a set of these Vendetta fenders. They are top notch. Let's get some fuel put in these tanks. So I'm sorry, guys, this video has been all over the place but I've got fuel finally going to these fuel tanks from the old tank. I don't have a pump here, so I had to siphon and suck start this thing to get fuel into this tank, but this thing has turned out phenomenal. Chris at Muir Shine Polishing came over and finished polishing out these tanks now that they're on the truck. This thing is just looking absolutely insane from what it looked like when we got it. When I say 99% ready to go, 
that comes back to us needing to paint up those lights back here, wire up the rear lights a little bit. Um, we got to do something with these airlines. I kind of don't mind them. I'm thinking about just leaving all this stuff how it is right here, how we made it, but putting some quick connects so that way you can have like a clean back here and maybe put these lines and stuff inside the side box on the truck. I've cleaned up a ton of wiring on the truck here. Um, <laughs> We've got to get this rubber off of here, so we can't really do that until I pull it outside and like pressure wash it because you can't, if you try to rub it off, it kind of smears. So I'm thinking maybe we try to pressure wash all the loose pieces and get that done. I've got to get a the new horns installed because these things are poop and they don't work. And I've got to find someone to come replace this windshield. So if anyone can help me, let me know. Finding a Peterbilt 352 glass is not the easiest thing in the world. So I don't know if maybe I can find someone that's really good at doing flat glass work that can come out here and cut a new piece and put it in there for me, please send me an email at brucewilsonshop at gmail.com as far as our YouTube stuff. Man, it would really help me out if we could find a replacement glass or someone that would actually want to touch this glass want to do it because I know it's very, very old truck. So I say very old, 1979. So I mean, that's, that's pretty old, I guess. But still, we got to figure that out. And that's one of the last few things is glass windshield the horns up front and wiring the back and this truck is pretty much in tip-top shape ready to rip and we'll get out here and start doing some cool stuff with it very soon let's finish filling this thing up with diesel gonna get it pulled outside i might crank the pressure washer up and see if we can get some rubber off of it i just want to see this thing outside and get some sick pictures it's gonna be sickety dope dope Well guys, there we have it. Gunner has been my, hey, you gonna say hello? hello. He's been my passenger today. Hello. All done? Okay, hello. let's see Pop Pop. Hello. This thing looks so nice, guys. So there it is, guys. What a transformation compared to what it was before and what it is now. The fenders, everything from four state trucks, the tanks got polished out. Those are also a Luma tank, I believe. They're from four state trucks, the Merit deck plate from four state. Every part on this thing, that we added or changed came from four state our buddy over at bulls welding did phenomenal jobs welding up all the holes in the frame making that thing look nice and fresh and him doing the drop back back here on the rear of the truck it all just turned out great lots of little touch up to make this thing look absolutely perfect but i think it came out just about flawless some mud flap weights and i hear a couple little tiny ear leaks we may have to find that i don't know where it's coming from or it's actually just the air leveling valve doing its job go figure the aluminum fifth wheel these tires are like knee deep in rubber these things are the ones that came off all of those electric trucks once we get these stacks i'm sorry not stacks but the horns put up top this thing's gonna be just as complete as a classic cab over could be i didn't want to change a whole lot because i loved the look the old school paint that's on it the bumper i know someone's probably gonna be like why didn't you put a new bumper on it but that bumper is super classic and old school we tried finding some lights i'm still trying to find some yellow fog lights to go there in the front it's hard to find an eight inch glass lens fog light to go in the front i may have a time to go and put six inch lights in the front they kind of look funny i did get some but they just don't look 100 percent right but hope you guys are enjoying the peterbilt cab over series so much more to come in the next few weeks make sure you're paying attention guys make sure make sure because something big is coming with this truck i'm sure a lot of you can guess it but we're not announcing anything yet but this thing is just the best truck, the best classic cab over I've seen in a long time. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe if you're new around here. Stay tuned. Spend time with your wife and kids and family and significant other and your parents, everyone around you you love to death. And guys, and just cherish every moment. And remember to balance work life and family life. We'll see you later. Peace.